today's topic is not giving up. And, you know, that's a wide range of things. But one thing that I've consistently heard while I was tra- while I've been training jujitsu is that often it's not who's better, it's who's left. And meaning the people who usually make it to the higher ranks of the sport never give up. And there's there's instances where that can be very a very uh, grueling thing. Like there's instances where giving up seems to be like, you know, the way to go. But a lot of people, you know, push through it, whether it be injury, life or whatever. Now, the reason why I asked Kelsey to come on and why I thought this topic was good for her is because Kelsey, like uh, like she said in her introduction, I think she said in her introduction anyways, not only does she do BJJ, but she also does Muay Thai and she's had some MMA fights as well as Muay Thai fights under her belt. So Kelsey, uh, tell us a little uh, about your transition from like BJJ and or Muay Thai to MMA. Uh, so I just started off in BJJ. Um, I had a little bit of background with it, uh, with the Army Combatives Program. And I said, hey, this is cool. I want to do this outside of it. So um, I started training jujitsu um, at Pentagon MMA. And then from there, I would see like the Muay Thai classes going on, like Frankie and all of them. And uh, MMA has always interested me. So I'm like, hmm, I don't have a stand up, though. So I was like, let me try this Muay Thai thing. And I started training there. Um, and then when I moved to Tennessee, I joined an MMA gym. And uh, I kind of had like my jujitsu and my Muay Thai, but I didn't have like the full complete MMA because there's like a weird, like gray area in between that's so different, like cage fighting, lifts, uh, constantly going. So this gym helped me put it all together. Because when I got there, I'm like, yeah, I want to fight MMA. And uh, Casey Oxnard was like, great, let's go spar. And I got worked because I didn't know that in between. And so I'm like, hey, I think I need you to teach me all this before I actually try to get in there. And so he did, but, um, it's been a fun transition. It's each sport's so different. Um, so it's always fun to compete in either one. I, I still compete in BJJ. And like you said, I, I fight Muay Thai, I fight MMA. I kind of just take what I can get because being a small female is really difficult to fight fights. And I just want to stay active right now. Gotcha. Have you ever, hey, Kelsey. Oh. Hey. hey, how are you doing? It's been a while. Good. How are you? It has. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For, for those was- who don't. Real quick. I'm sorry. Are... I, I... Go ahead, Wally. A... No, you go ahead. No, you're fine. I'm going to drink. Go, Wally. Go, Wally. I was going to say, it's, it's, it's an interesting... Yeah, y'all caught me, and this is my second drink. Uh, it's an interesting <laughs> transition. <laughs> because it's like, usually people go from, like, you know, uh, Muay Thai to BJJ to MMA. You kind of went around almost backwards that's interesting but I, I i think it's also really interesting that you said that there is that gray area that you know you can be great in both sports but there's still that gray area that's that's the connection that's missing oh absolutely um yeah i did do it backwards you're 100 right most people have a stand up and they say well maybe i should learn a little bit of grappling so i could have yeah. that side of it and uh in an a fights sometimes a lot of them really heavy striking um but I mean, my game plan is always to get them on the cage and to let them to take them down because when they're mm-hmm. on the mat, they're in my world because I am a grappler. So, yeah. So here's a question. Have you, uh, in your three MMA fights, have you ever fought somebody who didn't have a jujitsu background, but a wrestling background? Not necessarily. Um, they've all had somewhat of a jujitsu background and also wrestling. So like the gym that I'm training at right now, uh, we have certain days where we'll do like stand up, we'll do grappling only, we'll do ground and pound, and then we'll have like a straight wrestling day. And wrestling is very new to me. I've never done wrestling until I went to this gym. So uh, that was also a challenge. Very fun though, um, but extremely tiring just the up, down, up, down. But it's made my uh, BJJ game so much stronger because now I go on the mat in a tournament and I'm always shooting, I'm going, I'm used to the up, down, up, down versus a lot Mm. of uh, jujitsu fighters they'll either pull guard or if they hit you down, they just want to stay down there. And I'm like, if you're going to take me down, I'm going to try to pop my hips right back up, get right back and stand up and start hand fighting again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wrestling. Me and Kelsey, Kelsey got a spar one time. Yeah, yeah we did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hunter, go, Hunter, go ahead. I would just say, you know, my experience with wrestling is that it's like six or seven minutes of fury. Uh, whereas, 
one transition from me being a wrestler to trying jujitsu is that you need to be patient and you will get worked by, you know, upper level belts that are patient uh, if you go in there with a wrestler's mentality. So, you know, I, I was just heavily relying on strength when I first started. And I think that that actually worked against me because I'd find myself getting hurt more often and, you know, uh, getting worked by Sugi. <laughs>